it said 80. Probably. Yeah, I think it's. I, I think, think it just said two. So 82. Yeah. yeah. 82. Oh. 82. <laughs> Why we had to do your job, bro? Mo? Oh, that's my job. 82. Yeah. 82. Yeah. Two, 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 two. So what is that? Do you want to this one? <laughs> We're gonna talk about heaven. All right. So what we think it is? Do you think it's real or what that like kind of stuff? So as a kid, I we were taught the mainstream media that heaven is a place in the clouds, right? Yes. And that one. I thought Super Mario was in the clouds. Do you? That, I mean, that's heaven, bro. Do you still believe that now that you're young, older, Digo? Nah, but what's interesting is I you started. You don't believe in heaven? It's like, huh? You don't believe in heaven? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, when I hold on, when I when I when was like six or seven, we started going to Jehovah's Witness Church, mm. and their their heaven is. It's like you know how the Bible says the hundred sixty six thousand or whatever. So some of them, they'll actually go to wherever God is, that realm or whatever. Right. But the majority of people will be on, um, will be rebirthed on earth. So after like judgment day, all the decent people and shit will be, or all the good people will be able to live. There's a lot more people than 166,000 that are right. decent. So those, those perfect people, they're the ones that are going to go to heaven. That's what the Bible says? That's what the Jehovah's Witnesses teach. Oh, Jehovah's Witnesses. Okay. That's how they interpret the Bible. Yeah. Right? And and then so they say that uh, we'll, we'll just be on the earth like in another kingdom, like a Jehovah's kingdom and shit. But so, and then it's also weird because then they say, but the Bible says that, you know, that they'll be, they'll, Jesus will defeat the devil and lock him up for like 2,000 years or something. Yeah, yeah. And then it'll be all peaceful. And then after 2,000 years, they gotta let him out again for some fucking reason. Like that was their deal. Yeah, no, no, the contract. It's weird, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, like we were talking about earlier, all that shit is symbolic. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But no, uh, heaven, uh, heaven, I don't know, I'm not sure. Like, uh, heaven can be a, a, a mindset. I think heaven could also be another dimension. Okay, another okay, okay. An afterlife. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But uh, it's definitely, like, related to the Creator. Okay. In my yeah. opinion. So, yes, sir. Well, you know, I, I, I think it's, I think mankind in the beginning needed a, a representation of like the finish line like this is why you should be good this is where you'll go right you know we were we, you know, we were young you know we, we were still coming out of the caves right we were, as a people yeah, yeah, yeah our yeah, dna you know? was young yeah yeah you yeah. know so we needed we remember back then we needed symbols because we didn't really quite know how to describe things yet this is why everything is symbolic and looking back well now we take everything literal for whatever reason because we haven't really evolved, more like devolved, right? Yeah. But uh, in a lot of ways we have. But uh, I, I believe that that that's that's what that heaven, that version of heaven that's from the Bible, quote unquote, is about. Like I think it was it was it was given to us by religious leaders or figures to sort of, like I said, give us a finish line, give us like here here's the goal for being good. So it wasn't God. all bad that they gave it to us. No, no, it's just that it, you know or that like, idea. Yeah, you know, but some people forgot that like yeah, you know, like it's 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 in a way, uh, you know, heaven in the afterlife. You know, you you kind of have to make it here first. You know, like how how do you know you're in heaven if you've never tried to to live in heaven? You know, a lot of people want to say. I know how to be a good person, I know how to be loving and wise, but I'm going to wait until I'm in heaven when I'm going to be able to do that all I want. Like, right. you're waiting, and then, but the whole point of like, you're missing the point of living life, you know, the, the, the goal is, if you can make a heaven on earth here in Satan's realm, you know what I'm saying, right. then you're definitely, whatever is next, you're gonna, it's going to be heaven for you, you right. know what I'm saying, because yeah. we're here, you know, they call this the weighing station, you know, for the soul. You know, like weight, like as in weight, you know, mm -hmm. like uh, pounds, kilos, all yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. You know, like here on earth. Going to like the yeah, TSA right yeah. now. Here on earth, you know, it's, it's like you're put through all the temptations and hopefully you're at the end of it, you can still come out yourself and not a, not, not a victim of those temptations. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, uh, you know, that, that, it, it, you know, but that, you know, but the fact that there's going to, that you're going to go to some place and it's going to be perfect. No, you have to find a way to first try to find heaven here. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then, you know what I'm saying, that you, you can unlock it then. That's my opinion about it. What you want? What, uh, what is heaven to you? And this is how, how you just said, how you, you live your life with, with the uh, temptations around you. The devil's around you in every aspect of it. You can see it as, as far as like addiction or your emotions, your anger, your fear, your sadness, your, your straight up happiness. He's lurking everywhere that you're at. And it's about how you conquer yourself in this in this world, 
how you'll transcend in the next. You know, heaven could be how you make, like you said, how you make it around you. Yeah. It could, <clears throat> you could struggle and live a life where you're, you're sinning a lot. But even in the Bible, God doesn't turn away any of his children. You know, he doesn't just turn the light away from you because you, you've lived the first part of your life in sin. You can completely change in the matter of just, yeah, in a day. You can just completely change the whole viewpoint of how you live. I've said before, it's hard to know good until you know bad. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can't really know. You know, heaven you, you think of this way too. Think of the symbology here. Before you go to sleep every night, it's it's a lot easier to go to sleep if you don't have any negativity on your mind. If you don't have some beef with someone, if you didn't just have an argument, mm -hmm. if you don't have. In the same way, you don't want to die having done a lot of dumb shit or bad shit here on earth, and not have it resolved. You're not. Right. You're not. You're not going to R.I.P. You're not going to rest in peace. Just like in the same way that you're not gonna sleep well at night if you got a lot of conflict going on in your brain. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what sleeping is, resting in peace. Yeah. Even if you can't fix it in certain aspects of certain things that, that happen to you, you can at least learn the emotion of letting it go and not letting it hold it control over you. It, it could be just something you do something wrong to somebody you'll never see again, but you feel bad about it. Let it go. Yeah, you know, that's, that's part of it. Yeah, you'll never ascend from this earth to heaven if you still got all these attachments from this karma you created. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? You got to find a way to, like I said, to, when you die, be able to die with a smile on your face and say, man, I'm, I'm ready for the next level. You know what I'm saying? Instead yeah. of saying, man, I have so many regrets. I, I have so many unresolved conflicts, unresolved traumas, and now I'm going to die. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Look. Yeah. yeah. But, but, uh,. Yeah. So, <laughs> I also see it kind of like uh, um, even when you live the first part of your life if you just like you know you questioned it for a minute it's okay it's okay to question it for a minute it's, it's, it's natural to, to want to question is heaven real or is hell real or yeah cause some people it, like, it even matter. some people might say what's the point of being good what's the point what am I going to be good for a lot of people will say why so people take advantage of me so people screw me over so I can't so everyone can get their way except me well, first of all, that's not very nice, right? To think like that. First of all, you're not living very nice if you're thinking that. But yeah, second of all, like, like, uh, uh, shit. What's the first thing I said, right? You said about the people. The, the, uh, <laughs> I don't know, but it made me think of like a little bit more because of karma. Like they don't believe in karma, though. No, well, no, you're talking about how living life. Fuck, I'm so happy. Yeah, we're we just want the bowl. Sorry, guys. This is gonna happen, but this is the most conversation. Chess good. games too. Yeah. Uh, no, no, chess you. Games. Fuck! What did I say? Fuck! <laughs> man. man, so okay. You How talk you get about, to heaven? You, we talking about okay? You don't want to live with you know. No, letting go of regret and a lot of things yeah. that people do. Yeah, you talk, you talk, you talk, you go. Or to uh, resolve, you gotta have Yeah, you gotta just learn how to let it go, not let it control you. You know, I was thinking about the rest in peace and sleeping at night. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> it'll come. Damn, we're Is that like, sometimes you just gotta like, not overthink stuff. Cause sometimes you think it's an issue and it's not even an issue. And if you wanna be calm and peace of mind, peace of mind is heaven, right? Yeah, a lot of times people, people wanna like, they, they wanna say, well, I have to have, a my thoughts have to be all good and I have to be all good in here all the time for me to be quote unquote happier. Bro, no. You need to own those negative emotions too. Like I am regret. I am sometimes, you know, like I, I, I know, I understand that I, I have faults, and I'm gonna own up to it. Quit, quit, quit. When you hit that thought, you're like, oh, you cringe, and then you try to think of something else. No, go into that because that is you. Right. That is you. J right. Just like you accept all the good traits, and you're like, yeah, I'm fucking cool, man. I'm, I got, I got good game. Also, be like, you know what? But sometimes I'm a little petty. You know, sometimes yeah. you know I, I can be a little rude. You know, like, yeah. like accept that shit. And you know what? I need to fix that. Yeah. Accept because accepting, you can't fix nothing if you don't accept it first, yeah. right? You know what yeah. I'm saying? So yeah, I have faults. I need to, you know, eat eat some of that humble pie daily. You know, yeah. own your shit. Yeah. Stop trying to project it onto somebody else or make it something that's not. You know, just be real with yourself. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And I usually do that like when I get home, like. Uh, I think it's yeah. like how you know, after a game of chess online, so I start thinking about like as I'm making food for dinner, so yeah. I start thinking about like all the cringe shit of the day. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll yeah. just yeah. I'll well, just be better about this. Yeah. I won't do yeah. this anymore. Yeah. That way, from the future, I won't have to worry. Yeah, about you this. go through it. That's what you gotta do. Yeah. You can't. You can't you, just keep. You saying gotta. It. You gotta analyze it. Yes. Because if you just ignore it, it's yeah. gonna keep happening. You have to shit. mentally unpack. And you gotta do this every day. It's a mental exercise to keep yourself like that. You know, like I said, if you want if you want heaven here on earth, you have to you have to learn how to like deal with yourself before you can learn to deal with other people. You know what I'm saying? Like 
dealing, you know, there's no phrase that a man who conquers himself is 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 uh is is worth more than a than than a, than an army in an army that's conquered millions. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Or something like that. You get it, right? You conquering so, yourself is worth a lot. Sounds good. Yeah. Sounds know good. know thyself, and you'll be epic and shit. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. Like like yeah, you know like like own 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 <laughs> all that shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like like don't be afraid. Like don't it, it can't. It's not always gonna be heaven and fluffy clouds. You know? Yeah. There's gonna be thunderstorms. There's gonna be fire and sometimes volcanoes and but that's life, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's like, another thing that people will look at is like, okay, well, if it's so heavenly, why is it that life will hit you so hard and people will lose their jobs or something else will happen to them and they'll get cancer? Explain this. I'm like, well, that's a testament to themselves between them and God, mm-hmm. in my opinion. You know, I know somebody who has, uh, she's 20 years old, not even 21 yet. She has breast cancer and she's fighting for her life right now. Wow. I mean, nobody can ask that. I can't ask why it happened. I can't answer it, why it happened to her. Right. Nobody can answer that. She can't answer it. The God doctors can. can only guess and shit. The doctors can only speculate. Yeah. You know, they're thinking malpractice or whatever. Because they, they said they could have caught it sooner. But either way, it, that's between her and, and God. It, it's a testament of like, well, how faithful will you be? I, you know, this sucks. The devil has thrown you a really tell spin or whatever but i'm here still for you in the light maybe i can guide you out of it maybe it's just god's own test for her to see like okay i'm saving you from something completely different maybe something else would have happened maybe she saw something in the future that the devil was planning and this is the only way to stop it no matter what scenarios he played in his head you know how you take it that's his testament that's his test maybe that's the deal between heaven and hell that the the god and the devil have to make is that it has to be free man's choice yeah fool your own choice because you want to be depressed and let this disease take you or do you want to try to make a fight and still be you know get through your, your good self and try to make an impact i've lost two cousins because of the disease and both of them didn't let it just keep them down so <clears throat> that's how they had to do it yeah, God forbid, I would, but I would hope that if I'm in a position like that, I'll be like, you know, just, I mean, because you got to try to live every day like, like it's your last and your first and at the same time. That's kind of heaven too. Yeah, you, you, every, you know, a lot of people say, man, life turned into a routine. It gets so boring. Bro, if you were laying on that hospital bed in the last of your days, you'll be just think like, wow, I can't believe how I didn't appreciate those days waking up every morning, being able to brush my teeth and walk to the kitchen and go to downstairs and, and drive everywhere. Man, now I'm sitting here in the hospital bed thinking about, damn, I should have. Yeah, bro, like that's what life is. Life is finding the, the beauty in the mundane because that's what living is. Living is a beautiful thing, but we just, you know what I'm saying? We forget hey, it. it yeah, bro, the, the fact that you are a fucking human being with this brain and soul and this body that can take so much fucking damage and still keep on going. Appreciate that shit, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, quit talking about like, man, I wish, man, I don't yeah. have. Bro, you have everything right in front of you, but a lot of people just don't realize it. You know you what know, I'm saying? You know, that's the one thing that I, 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 I'll use. Yeah, I mean, I mean, this is completely off the of topic, but you know how some people have that, that one sentence that they hear when they work out or whatever? Like, oh. Don't I mean, quit. Don't give up. No, I always hear this. Just do it. This one thing I always said all the time. I'll do it tomorrow. Let's just do it tomorrow. And, I, and I'll keep repeating that stuff to myself every day because I wasted so much time instead of working out saying, nah, I'll just do it tomorrow and I'll play a game. Yeah, there's a I'll do it tomorrow, I'm just going to smoke yeah, weed. There's a phrase. Yeah. Think, think about if you had started that thing six months ago, six months ago. Think about where you'd be now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I always just tell myself all the time. I'll do it tomorrow. I'm going to go eat Oreos today. You know? wow. So I finally said, fuck that. You know, I'm going to wow. work out now and then go eat me some motherfucking Oreos. Go earn that shit. Yeah. Maybe stop, you know what I'm saying? I stop eating. Yeah, just eat one or like, like he talks about how you <laughs> have to be able to take the good with the bad and, and, and turn it into, turn the bad into good. Like, I, at, mo, at my lowest point was when my, my fiance had left me and I had no friends and all this stuff. And I went through a depression, but I also went through a, a, a very big, like... A, Renaissance. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it hadn't been for that, I wouldn't have turned into a spiritual person at all. I would have just stayed the same dumbass, probably still treating my fiance like shit or other girls like shit, bro. Mm-hmm. Being toxic and simping, just like, you know, we talked about on episode yeah. 81. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and that's why, yeah, I, I look back at that and I'm like, that's a good thing that happened. You know, when, when you can look back yeah. at, bad, at bad things and say they, can, they did good things and how can they be bad? You know, I have cousins, bro, who have been uh, molested and shit, bro, and they'll tell you, like, like they're, from their mouth, they're like, you know what? I know some good comes out of it because now that I have kids, I'll never let that happen to my children. You know what? That's their decision to say that, right? Like, I look at it as like, damn, you know, like, that really sucks that that happened. Yes, you know what I'm saying? But... But, but that's what I'm saying. If, if you can find the good in the bad, it really does a lot. Because, you know, my cousins, the ones who say that, they're not, they're not fucked up. They're not traumatized because they, they legit, they agree that, like, hey, you know what? I, to, like, good, came, good came out of that bad. You know what I'm saying? Man, that's a really bad bad. bad Real shit. Yeah. yeah. So it doesn't get weird. We're recording. But what's so simple? Yeah, we're recording. Welcome. Yeah, that's, that, that's for your homegirl. Go knock on her door. Like, go bang on it. See if Shona is there. Please. All right. What else, but, Evan? <clears throat> what is there's there's a lot of people in this world that never experienced that. Like, Hell? yeah, never like they, they just never experienced it. Well, before all right, before you get into hell though, I want to say like. The things that I find heavenly are just like the things that people just take like, for granted. People take for granted, right? A butterfly, like ladybug, just like just oh, being able to look out this fucking view and see a beautiful blue skies, see Bro. trees, the hear green, the birds and the shit. Colors. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like I always say, if you woke up on another planet. The second that you didn't hear birds, you would miss it instantly. Like, yeah. damn, I miss Earth already. You know what I'm so saying? You could have been born in a, in a place that was just all sand. Yeah, yeah. You, could, you know. So I mean, you want to go to hell? Is that what you're talking about? No, nah, I mean, he's the one that said hell. Let's go to hell. We got, but, I mean, like, you can find, like, he, cause how do you get to heaven? I mean, how do you get there? Like, you How do you climb, get there? Like you, like, you read, you know what I'm saying? Well, like, you well, know, meditation, I, I right? I think it's about, it's about just doing the right thing bro you know at the end of the right. day people talk about oh i want to be a hero this or that well you know what if you want to break it down to what a hero is a hero just does the right thing at the end of the day without having to question it without being dramatic about it without needing credit mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so that, that that that's all life is about you know what i'm saying you know be a hero do the right thing and not not because anyone told you to not because you're trying to get some gold star because at the end of this motherfucking life there's no gold stars there's yeah. no one out there keeping X's and, 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 and your ribbons at? you're doing that. Yeah. You create the heaven just like you create the hell. You know what I'm saying? So here we go. Okay, hell. I mean, you got a lot of guys that have just been through shit. Yeah. That have been I since, they, since they step on the planet. You know, it's... Uh, oh, yeah. They be dirt poor or they're, they've just been raped and molested when they were younger. Or Whoa. Just, just Operate on. That you are going to hell. Op operated on yeah yeah or they like, could be unnecessary rich and still be getting molested by somebody who's close to them they can't say shit because they're like let's say a politician or some shit uh, it's something bad you know and they're going through a hell even being in like what's considered a heaven you know those cults that that lure people in just so they can uh you know molest the children or whatever and <clears throat> Or just want to just lead people and just just mislead them or whatever, just so they can have a source of either income or, or just power over people. That, greed. Mm, it's that uh, false messiah purpose. <laughs> but uh, the the hell that that most people go through is just something like that, you know, drugs that they'll see young, and it's like. You can continue. It's hard for them to see the light, but it eventually they can see it. Yeah. Whether they see it later on in life, or early in their life, where they get out of that that situation, you know. Yeah. It, that's the type of hell that I would see. It's like what what's around you, how you experience it yourself. Hell, you, some people could have a, a great life, but they're creating their own hell because the demons that the devil has put up around you is start keeping you down and not not see that. Especially like life hits you and you take a full on. You, you turn completely around the path that you were on, and all you see is darkness. And that's all you're seeing, and God is just trying to show you the light if you just turn turn around. But he can't interfere with you. The devil can do whatever he wants. Because, yeah, that's just the devil being the devil. The devil can throw a temptation at you. There's a rule. I can't directly go up to you and tell you, hey, you should do this. Right. He can influence you, though. Right. He, right. He, can, he can throw that toxic bitch in your path. He can throw that, 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 that bad homie, that, that opportunity to go do this or do that in your path and see what you decide to do right and then god is like it's free will you know that, that's that's how it works we're, we're he's you know we're playing by the rules of the game the anger you let the anger take you to hell yeah yeah it's yeah. a straight yeah. quick way yeah, to get into that it, kind of because then it is, it is. You, you don't control sometimes with that the anger can be 
Yeah. It's hellish, bro. And then the aftermath is hellish. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of people, they don't, they, how do you explain it? Like, I guess for some people, like you said, hell, that uh, it's, it, it, it is a state of mind. You can create it too. But like you said, there's also that environment where some people come from a horrible environment. Like think about the worst of like the worst neighborhoods, you know, where people get robbed every night, jacked, there's you know, murders and shit like that, you know, like always living in like, fear. Like, and then yeah. There's just some people that are just pure evil. Yeah. They just I mean, wanna create that hell yeah. and that that's something you wanna question. Yeah. Some people like to yeah. they, they they you know, yeah, they they, they somehow have Falling so off the deep end that they take pleasure in other people's displeasure. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's crazy. Bro. You know they. You They're know, still fighting the hell. They, they want to see spread hell. You know, and, and a lot of people think it's cool, but that S and M shit. That's what that is, bro. I mean, I, I don't know why people think it's cool to get horny off of doing that kind of stuff to people. Like maybe because the mainstream media has brainwashed you guys, but that's not normal. Probably some trauma shit too. That's not, that's just plain evil. That they call it sadism for a reason. It's sadistic. It's yeah, not. Yeah. It's not normal human behavior, and 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 they just and they just added new, they just added the sexual part to it to make you oh yeah that's look how easy people are to you know that that see we're well, well, slaves to our dicks bro you know that's what they always put like on oh, those oh. see everyone we're talking about chakras right yeah. if you just live for yourself live to fuck live to get money live to live to take advantage of people whatever the fuck you're living in just your lower three chakras and it can be said that that's where hell is your lower the lower three chakras you know what i'm saying that's why it's red and that's where it, and that's the where, lowest one is yeah, red yeah. and the orange and, and that's where people live no one ever ascends into 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 the fourth and the fifth the high, you know there's the heart once you're in the heart you're getting towards heaven because look now you're hitting the throat well, the heart is green so like it's like earth yeah, and, yeah, and this yeah, the water yeah. and stuff so up here just like exactly heaven. you know but some people they don't never want to live for anybody but themselves and you will never get to those higher chakras if you never want to if your ego never wants to sacrifice because right. true love true love unconditional true love is is is, is loving people regardless of whether they love you or not you know right. like i i want to see you do good whether that means you're by my side or not yeah you know like i just want i, I i'm not i'm not i'm gonna i'm gonna give out my love and my awesomeness not because i want anything in return but because i just want to give it out right. you know what i'm saying yeah you're not in it for anything just, just but, but, you, know, it, you know there's a choice so do you think that hell is also a place when you die? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, for all, like you said, if you said if you said heaven could be some other dimension you go to, who knows that like, if there's some dark dimensions out there where you get sent to and there's planets where, like, they're slaves, or they're, they're literally like that, you know? Like, like for all we know, there could be, like, a Hitler in the next dimension that that's the planet you're sent to, and you're... You're turning, yeah, you're, you know, it's like you're in hell, you know. If, if you've ever read Dante's Inferno, you know, they have like, I think they have seven levels or nine? I don't know seven how many levels of hell. Yeah. And each one is the sins. Uh, there's all supposed to be seven. The seven, seven, seven deadly, deadly sins. sins yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what those are? Okay, lust, gluttony. Uh, greed. Greed, avarice. Hate. Envy. 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 That's avarice? What's that? That's, uh. Gluttony? No, no, avarice is like, oh, Google. Is I'm it really what? Because I, I used to have this song that I did when I was younger. And okay, so like, first I'm gonna tell you what avarice means, and I'm gonna tell you the seven deadly sins. All right. So, okay, so keep meaning. But so, I mean, like it was crazy because the Jehovah's Witness say that we're in hell. This is hell because Satan lives here. Meaning so. of avarice: immoderate desire for wealth, an inordinate desire of gaining and possessing wealth. The covetous. So yeah, it is. And now I'll type in seven deadly sins. Sounds seven. like a big word for greed. Seven deadly sins. Uh, the seven deadly sins. Okay, da, 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 da. pride, greed, wrath, envy, lust, gluttony, and sloth. The seven. The seven. There you go. Which, which those are the opposites of the seven heavenly virtues. Ooh, what are those? The seven heavenly virtues: prudence, justice, temperance, courage, uh, faith, hope, and charity. Ooh. Let's take it to heaven. Yeah. The seven. Yeah, there seven. you go. There you go. I mean, if you write those seven things down, basically what I always tell people is like, they're like, well, how do you know it'd be good? Well, look, write down something bad. What's the opposite of that? Seriously, write that down. What's the opposite of that? You know, like, like, uh, being rude to people, right? That's, that's not nice, right? What's the opposite of that? Being nice and courteous. Boom. Okay. It's like, oh, wow. Okay. So, so what about with relationships? Okay. Look, so you ask yourself all the questions on the toxic like do i fill out any of these yeses then i need to stop doing that so what you're saying is 
that's that was the whole meaning of this is the end is when they all were just like all being courageous or not lustful yeah. or justice yeah. or, mm. bro I, oh my god because then this is the end Cause, 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 of that. because then this is the end they were one of the guys was about to get like killed by the devil right. but because he sacrificed himself for his homie right. sacrifice right there true love courage and everything right. he was beamed up to heaven yeah like in that instant see you can repent in an instant and be forgiven but you have to forgive yourself first if you don't forgive yourself creator's not gonna you know he's, he's like bro I, I forgave you a long time ago it's you bro you know it's 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 it, 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 it's like it's like if, if, if you you think you said something embarrassing to a girl or someone older or whatever just a friend and you're embarrassed you said it and you keep thinking about oh I should have said that but to them it's not really a thing it's right. only in your you're blowing it up right. you know what I'm saying like you make yeah, your own little that's, hell that, that, that's a, yes that's, but if you make your own heaven it also can yeah. spread and people get a little yes in heaven. That, that that that's how creators looking at you when you're sitting there like I still feel like a dumbass over this or I still have regret over that or I still feel I made the wrong decision. All that's done and it's done with. You need you, we we need to unpack whatever bad emotions we have, unpack them, deal with them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And move on. Integrate that. Be that. Be that regret and understand. I don't want to do that because I hate this feeling. And this is what I'm gonna do to not repeat that regret. This is what I'm gonna do to not repeat all that embarrassment. Blah blah blah. You know, like learn from it. You know, like. I went through a dumbass phase too where I was just a young dumbass doing whatever he wanted, thinking he was the shit, thinking no one could tell me what to do. And then it finally took me to, like I hit rock bottom, to realize everybody who I thought was quote unquote trying to run my life, they were trying to give me religious advice, bro. But I was being a fucking selfish dumbass. I was like, no, I know what's good for me. You don't. But yet they're the ones who saw that I was self-destructing and... You know, they try to tell me, bro, and I didn't listen. And you know what happened? I went to my own hell. I went to hell. I was in hell, like, uh, from, like, there was a period of time whenever, like, I was trying to be with my ex. And, and so I didn't see my son that much. And even though I did see my son, like, I wanted, it's the same thing happened with my, uh, my first girlfriend, my first v cars, the puller. The one that popped your cherry. Yeah. So that kind of happened with my son's mom because, uh. Oh. I, there was a period of time where I was cheating and shit. Oh, mm-hmm. Felix came back. And That's I, the karma, and, bro. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And, yeah. then I, and then I was like, okay, now I want to make it work. Yeah. But it's like, no, it's too yeah. late. It's too late. Yeah. Like, See, it's, I got I got lucky. Those times that I said I did those stupid things where I, 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 I let, you know, I, I, I kind of told the girl that, like, I'm going to, I lied to go be with another one. Like, I was lucky to get taken back. You know, looking back, I'm like, damn, I'm. Yeah. Am I still like? See, I'm the one who's afraid to still just throw karma to pay for it. See, that's me in my own hell, right? right like, right. it's long past. It, like, if I really learn, I'm not gonna do that anymore. Okay, then it should be gone. But right. I'm the only one who keeps that alive in my head. You know what I'm saying? Right. I have, you know what I'm saying? I still have a paranoia that my actions will will bite me in the ass in the future. And that's what um uh, like depression is. Depress when you get when you fall into a deep depression. Yeah, think about it. Like from 2011, yeah. 2012 and shit, where you don't. Your eye, your view of the world is like just dark. Well, think about the word depression, deep rest, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, it's like it's almost like you go from a sunny day to a cloudy day for who knows how long. You right. you know, the, your light is just in deep rest, you know? Because right. you're, dimmed. you know? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, it's a cloudy sky in there. It's moody. It's like you're in fucking England or in Seattle or some other right. depressing place. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I ain't Damn, it's just shit on next to you, huh? Hey, man, you can't get a tan, man. <coughs> Salud. <coughs> hey, bless you. Is that food? Bless you. <coughs> so it is food. I mean, that's not food. Is it for us? It's not for us, right? I don't. There's samples for sharing. All right, nah, but uh, but you know that Cookies that's what the, that, that's what depression that's what depression is. You know, when you you can't you can't find you can't figure out a way to let that light in you shine. You know what I'm saying? Like you say, everything was gloomy. Everything was dark. Like you were living in uh, one of those. Those, those, uh, like, like, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. There you go. No, nah, I was thinking more like, uh, the, the Nightmare, Nightmare Before, Before Christmas. Christmas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean. I'm not thinking about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's a hell right there. Yeah. Right? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, I'm saying, I heard a, a quote from somebody that was basically saying how worrying it's a, it's a negative energy. Oh, yeah. And, and, I mean, but I get it. You know, they're saying, like, well, worrying is like, it, it'll just demotivate you, it'll, it'll devalue you, like some, some other oh, shit. Yeah. And I'm looking at them like, well, yeah, if you let it, but, you know, you need that worry, like, say, like, uh, if you worry about paying your rent, you're going to worry about, having, like, say you lost your job, you're going to worry about rent, 
you know, you're gonna need that worry to push you to go pay rent. You know, you need to go find yeah. you a fucking job. Yeah. You're sure worrying about this. Maybe it might teach you to be a little bit, sure. like, if you're saying you're worrying sure. about a, a bill. Mm -hmm. well, you're gonna worry about that, and it's gonna motivate you to go to work. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, to eat. Like, oh, yeah, if you're hungry and you're worrying about eating the next day, we're well, gonna worry about trying to find some, something to be able to go get something to eat. Right. But it's also like, God puts people in your life too sometimes to ever feed you. Yeah, yeah. Some, some people are in your life to teach you good things, some people to teach you bad things, you know? Some, yeah, you know, not all lessons are gonna be beautiful, you know what I'm saying? Some lessons are gonna be hard, but they, but remember, it's, it's what you make of those. If your good can come out of that bad, that toxic person in your life, that bad experience, a traumatic experience, if good can come out of it, then you can't really call it bad. You know what it I'm saying? It kept you away from a lot of shit you think you probably got into. You probably would have gotten into. Oh, cheesy. Without, like for me, and since it's like my nephews, if they weren't in my life when they came in, what the fuck kind of dumbass shit would oh, I got into? Oh, yeah, for sure. Like you know if I wouldn't have been a young father at 19, I'm out of... I could have sat there and said, I want to be here, you know. Oh, shit, you said AIDS? I did. <laughs> All that fucking you were I'm thinking like jail or something. Because you, yeah, you, know, yeah. you were a Mac Daddy pimp. Hey, I could yeah. sit there and be bitching and crying about, uh, or complaining about. Oh, <laughs> I, don't know. I know I said three things that meant the same thing, but uh, yeah, it's the point of like, I could sit there and, and, and tell everybody, like, hey, you know, I don't want to do this, I don't want this, you know, I, I didn't want this responsibility, I didn't ask for it. Yeah, exactly. I ain't asked for it. It just happened. So I can either sit there and cry about it, or I can just be blessed up. about it yeah. and be happy. It's like, you know, they, it could be a whole lot worse. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And for yourself. Been. Yeah. And that's time that's invested too. that's going to pay off for him. Like, 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 one of the reasons why I really try hard to, 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 to gravitate yeah. towards younger people, you know what I'm saying? Especially in my family, like my, my younger cousins who were like, barely 20 you know even mm -hmm. some even younger you know some i got nephews who are like you know 18 you know whatever you know what i'm saying and i try i try to get cool with them so that in the future they can hopefully be there to have my back when i'm old and lonely you know what i'm saying i try to, i try to listen to y'all and be around y'all when y'all are young and no one really you know everyone thinks you're just a kid you know so so that you know we can grow a bond and in the future you know what i'm saying we it's it's, it's, it's a long-term bond you know what i'm saying you know, it's, it's, a, yeah. it's about thinking about the future, you know, why you want to, you know, if you want to, if, if you need some incentive parents, why would be good to your kids? So when your ass is old and, and broken, so take care you can you. have your kids there and they don't, and it, you're not, you're not that parent that, oh, I don't want to go, oh, I got to go see them, you know and what I'm saying? if you do real good, it might get rich. Yeah, bro, and you, get, take care you, of you get a piece of that pot, you yeah. know what I'm saying? Exactly, bro. Well, yeah, I didn't even ask for that, I just want them to be happy. Yeah. yeah, I mean, but I'm just saying for those people who are pieces of the shit, they're like, man, what are kids gonna do for me? They can do a lot for you. They want yeah. something to invest in. Plus, they teach you that love. They're, you get a piece, you get love. You can still have your, you know, sexual love and shit, but kid love, bro, from your kids is like just so innocent and pure. It's like straight from heaven. That's real love. That's part of that's heaven. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's why sometimes. Kids are very that's why sometimes new fathers and new mothers, you know, when they see a child, they hold it. They, it changes them, bro. Like yeah. something in them is like, Jesus, this is a life, and I'm responsible for it, and oh Straight my, from heaven and oh my so God, I can't believe it. This right here, this, this is what life is all about. Yeah. Like they, they start to get it right then and there, yeah. right? It's good. It's, it's something good. different. It's something different. I can, I can honestly say that. Yeah. Straight up positive energy. And yeah, I, uh, with my nephews or whatever, they've probably helped me out, get me out of hell, a lot. Just that innocent little light you see in a little kid. It helps you see the light that God shines through everybody and you just you get yeah. past it. That's, that was, that was, he was my shining light during that 2010, 2011, 2012 when I was like all depressed and shit and I didn't hang out with nobody. He was my like, he kept me like. Yeah, his motivation. When, yeah. when you got nothing else to live for, then you got your son. He's looking at you, bro. Yeah. Imagine if you off yourself, what kind of message does that send to your fucking son? Right. Because yeah. I did feel like that because, you know, like, because I wanted to try and make it work with his mom. So you have this conflict like well well then fuck it i gotta do my best yeah. i think somebody recently one of my sister's friends from school like drank himself to death or something Damn, over sucks. a girl like Damn. a lot of bar together and stuff and it's like, Damn. i mean sometimes you gotta just let go and maybe they'll come back and if they don't yeah yeah bro it wasn't meant to be it wasn't meant to be yeah, that, that to be. Be. yeah that's, and, and i think he had like a, like a kid or something damn bro couldn't even keep alive with the kid bro see that's that's sad. That's a, that's, that's sad. Yeah. That's sad. That's sad. But I can see how see that too because even my uh, my nephew's parents they couldn't even they they couldn't even get over the fact they had kids. They just sold drugs. 
Right. That's even this fucked up. Yeah. Fuck, fuck. yeah. But I, I always think about it like, man, I, I would have loved to have my own kids and be in my own spot, do whatever. But that's not what God's will is. At least not yet. Not yet. And then know? if it happens later on, you just be like, oh, I already know how to do this. Even if it never happens, if I don't have my own kids, whatever, yeah. it, that's fine. Because I've raised. You know, he did it. He yeah. did it. He mm-hmm. did it with like the best way possible. I was able to do it. I, I can dip out and still have another life. You know what I'm saying? Like, really, I mean, it, take, it really does take a village. Yeah. I mean, that's heaven. Heaven for a kid is having family that loves you. And oh yeah. Have oh yeah. Open doors I, and open I, arms. I can say one of the reasons is why when I finally came together, finally started maturing and seeing that I was a little little shit. You know, in my twenties and whatnot. Uh, it, it, all I had to do was think back of all the love I got from my family since I was a baby, right? All the, people, all the sacrifices they made, all the shit they did to give me love and make sure I was taken care of. You know what the I'm saying? Work. Like, like, bro, make them proud. You know what I'm saying? Like, like these people wanted to see you. They, they, they were so proud of you to see you born and alive and see you running around and happy. Make them proud, bro, by at least not being a piece of shit. You know, right. trying to be a decent human being. You know and what I mean? And if they are, and if your parents are pieces of shit... I mean, yeah, they, you, they, there's no they excuse. Got, there's no excuse, bro. Once got, again, yeah, don't, 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 don't do the yeah, cycle. Yeah, yeah, you, you can't sit there and say, well, because my parents. I remember I told you. There's right, a lot right, of people right, with right. parent pieces. Yeah, remember parents. I told you, bro. Write down bad shit and then say you don't want to do that. Then do the opposite. It's that simple. I, well, this is my parents. Said, okay, well, just do the opposite, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you talked about on the dad trauma episode. Now, now I'm saying that our parents are pieces of shit. No, no, but if anything, our dads did give us a lot of lessons what not to do, what right. not to say. You know how not to act around kids and around you know people in general. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever. Good, some good came out of that trauma, yeah. but f- so fuck it, you know. And I feel like I feel like I gotta give my dad some credit. Like he, he showed me how to like uh, always keep a job, and shit. yeah. To never to just be lazy, yeah. And shit. yeah. I always had to work. Get the pilas, mijo. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry, we're on. That's part. That's part of heaven too. Like, <laughs> like I don't know anything that you just said, bro. You don't know Spanish, bro? I mean, I know Spanish, but I think some of those words. I like, know. Say it again, say it again. No, no, no. You, okay. you can listen to it when, the, when right, you, you do I, the editing. I know with certain traumas like that, it's just a test for yourself, too. It's how your your upbringing, it's your backstory. It's like when you... Don't like, you for me, when I, when I die, if I, if I do have to sit with God, I feel like it's one more talk you'll have with God himself. And I feel like with that talk, it's like, well... Tell me your life story from from start to finish and how you feel about it now. Talking to me and you know, tell him everything. He'll probably interrupt me every now and then and say, "So how do you feel about that situation?" And if you come with the rough, with the right answer, that's probably his checklist of seeing where if did you learn throughout your entire life from your lessons and and your L's and and your heartbreaks or or the stupid shit that you did like if you stole or whatever you know you. What what did you feel? How did you feel about it? Where where did they lead you? And did you see they led you here? That's why you went you know almost five six years going down downhill. Mm. You know because of that yeah. one thing you did led to this whole corruption. Yeah. You know did you see that throughout your life? I think I feel like that that's how it's gonna, that's gonna go. When you have to die and you have to look back at that film that is the life of you, you want to be able to say okay you know what there's gonna be some bad shit. But we have we learned from it. it. It didn't keep on happening over and over and over. You know what I'm saying? I eventually yeah. learned. You want to be able to look back at the life of you on a big theater screen with God sitting next to you, and maybe everyone whoever was around you sitting in the theater, and be able to you know, be okay. You know what? That's my life. You know what? So <coughs> it's good. You don't even gotta be a superhero. Just just that's why I say it's a hero. It's, it's not about remember. It's not even about, a real hero. Is not about wanting credit, fam. Real right. hero is just about doing the right thing just cause you don't want no right. just even that's it. Even if you're that type of yeah, right. that dad, that uh, just if he does go to work, if you're gonna be you know that good dad where you're always there for your kids, so what if you spend an extra couple of hours you know going to their practices or you you know when you get off of work you're still in your work clothes but you still go out there and see them, that will pay a dividends in the long run if when they get older. Like, drink a beer or smoke a joint just to get that energy back from work. That's like, fine. Then go do it. Medicate Just don't them. be fucking an alcoholic and beat right. your kids. Or don't be a pothead shit. either. Don't be all fucking stoned there. Like, all day. Yeah. You know, go I mean, out there yeah. and, and balance it out. Like when I go out with my nephews, when I take them out to kids parties and stuff like that, I don't drink and I don't smoke in front of them like that. Right. Since when? No, since, I've, since I've been taking them out to David's or whatever, I, I don't. But if the if the younger ones are with me, I don't I don't leave it out of my sight. They'll have, have fun. I'll sit out there. If they've tried to get me to take shots. I just wouldn't do it because I didn't want to put. It's not that I want to put that image in front of them, but it's that 
I don't want to be fucked up around them. I want to be maintain my wariness for them to watch out for them. Well, they look up to you. Like, like, I mean, I mean, I don't know y'all's relationship. I know that my son is at a point where, I mean, he's 13, so I'm sure he sees the things like he sees, like he's already has his opinions. Like, okay, I like when, I like these things about my dad. I don't like these things about my dad. I like these things about my mom. I don't like these things. And I think he's like already formulating, okay, what it makes to be even an even better person. Because me and my son, you know, we did that with our parents. And then whether it's subconscious or conscious. So he's doing that shit to make his own heaven. Like, you know, he's trying to peace figure it out. They'll learn don't get so angry. Yeah. Because, you know, oh, no, he's oh, gonna, yeah. he, I'm sure it, I've, I've, he's seen me like, yeah. Because whenever he was little, I was young too. I'll tell you what my so nephews was, did, yeah. bro. They, they hid my belt. I, you, I have a belt named Levi. Cause that's the brand it is. And you say you want to put this out there? I don't give a shit. What the fuck they gonna do to me? Yeah. But Sleepy. I don't beat them. Yeah. That's not the point of it. I it's, just it's... whip them good. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not gonna disagree, nor am I gonna agree. But the point of it is, they hit my belt because they knew that that's what I used to, you know, discipline. That ass on. Discipline. What is he doing? And so they hit it. <laughs> and I didn't know about it for months. So, you know, I was like, all right, fine. You're getting time out, you know, this and that. And I never did it every night when He's they got in trouble. did. Let me throw but you another one. I found it. And they look at me and they're just like, what the fuck? I was like, damn it, they found it. So I start running now. Nah, I don't, I don't use it anymore. They're old enough to where I can, I can talk to them and tell them now. You get what I'm saying? CC. So, but they know it's there. Yeah. And it's just a discipline with them. Maybe in the future they probably won't do that to the kids. Or maybe they'll understand, like, okay, it's probably why. See you, see you. You know. Again, I don't beat my kids. I just set them straight. Right. Just set him straight. All right, you know yeah. what? I'm not gonna comment on that. You know, teach his own. Yeah. Is if if his kids come out traumatized, we know why. <laughs> yeah, I, I never. Uh, I don't know. I mean, cause I think some kids probably needed. I needed it. So it was good a couple times that I got whooped, but my son never really needed it. He was Bro, always like a very sensitive. My mom got a thick piece of wood from her church, and she had Bible verses written on both sides. That's what I got my ass whooped with. See, I didn't. I didn't. I don't take it that far. My son, like. Like, it don't work. Nah, it don't work, son. It don't work. It makes him more. The pain. devil was too much in me. Even those Bible verses on my ass didn't 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 do didn't anything. Didn't beat him out of me. Nah, <laughs> nah. It made him more mad. Than you. Man. So yeah, hell, you know, heaven and hell is 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 what you make it, right? Yeah. All right. All right, just do it soft, bro. You gotta do it with love. I know you're gonna with love. All right, y'all. Episode what? Eighty-two. 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 Yeah, Peace. Yeah.